Welcome YouTubers. This is a video about a man called Bernard Van who won the VC in the First World War in 1918 and he was from Rushton so this is a special day for him and we have a marching band. This is a Mercian regiment and the Mercian regiment was formed from three regiments the Cheshire Regiment, the Worcestershire and the Sherwood Forester Regiment and the Staffordshire Regiment. Now these particular this particular regiment they they have a ram that's that's the um, mascot. Now the official mascot of the Mercian Regiment is a private derby, a swale Dale Ram presented to the regiment by the Duke of Devonshire from his own Chatsworth estate flock. He is the 32nd of a long line of regimental mascots that the Duke of Devonshire has donated to the regiment. He is held on the official strength of the regiment as a Mercian regimental mascot, has his own regimental number and is funded by the Crown. The first private derby was acquired in 1858 by the 95th Derbyshire Regiment of the Foot and Sage and Capture of Kotar during the Indian Mutiny Campaign. Memorial and commemorative service marks the posthumous award of the Victoria Cross 100 years ago to this day this town has got its own World War I hero. Having joined the Nottinghamshire-based Sherwood Forester Territorial Brigade, Lieutenant Colonel the Reverend Bernard William Van was the only Church of England cleric to win the Victoria Cross as a combatant and he is still today one of the most highly decorated officers in the British Army. Victoria Cross, the VC, was introduced by the Royal Warrant in 1856 by Queen Victoria to honour acts of valour during the Crimean War and thus created as the highest award in the British Armed Forces for gallantry. During the attack at Belleglis and the Hocourt on September the 29th, 1918. He led his battalion with great skill across the Canal du Nord through a very thick fog and under heavy fire from field and machine guns. On reaching the high ground above Belle Eglise, the whole attack was held up by fire of all descriptions from the front and right flank. Realising that everything depended on the advance going forward with the barrage, Colonel Van rushed up to the firing line and with the greatest gallantry led the line forward. By his prompt action, an absolute contempt for danger, the whole situation was changed. The men were encouraged and the line swept forward. Later, he rushed the field gun single-handed and knocked out three of the detachment. The success of the day was in no small degree due to the splendid gallantry and fine leadership displayed by this officer. Lieutenant Colonel Van, who had on all occasions set the highest example of valour was killed near Ramacourt on the 3rd of October 19, 1918 when leading his battalion in attack. Now we have the unveiling of the plaque which you'll, you'll be able to see at the end of this video um, the exact inscription on this this plaque. Let us then pray.
Now we see the marching band going towards Hall Park, where they'll be giving a concert in the after, in the shortly after this event um, to lots of the general public. So um, they're going to play a number of traditional songs, and I'm sure that everybody who attends that will be more than pleased. And uh, this is the 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 ram, the uh, mascot of the regiment. And this is the plaque, as I promised. And there it is, Lieutenant Colonel Bernard Van Sherwood Forrester, Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire Regiment, 29th of September, to 1918. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. All the very best and goodbye.